the announcement by the government to close down Kakuma and Dadaab refugee camps, citing security challenges, has strongly been criticized by human rights groups who have termed the decision as reckless. In a statement on its website, Amnesty International argues that the closure of the refugee camps will put thousands of innocent lives at risk. However, Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohammed has come to the defense of the government, saying the decision was arrived at after wide consultations. It's not Kenya's responsibility. It's an international obligation for everybody to do their bit. All hands must be on deck. We've been hosting a million refugees. It's now down, I think, to 600,000. Huh? Others can't host even 50,000 refugees. What we're actually asking for is right, that principle of burden sharing. There's another one of resettlement in third countries that also exists, that also needs to be implemented. According to the cabinet secretary, hosting refugees in the country is costly as the government spends close to one billion shillings every year to run the Department of Refugee Affairs. Is closing the Department of Refugees. Why are we closing it? Right? Because it's too costly to run. That department costs a lot of money per year, to run per year. And it's Kenyan government money. It's taxpayers' resources. Okay. So even if we had right, a commitment to say, okay, now you've established this department of refugees, you know, we're not going to do too much to support you otherwise. You know, but here, we will support you. But it can't be something that we've been carrying for 20 years. According to Amina, repatriation back home or resettlement in third countries has been slow in spite of a tripartite agreement signed between the government of Kenya, government of Somalia and the United Nations High Commission of Refugees in 2013. In 2013, we agreed with UNHCR and with the government of Somalia that we will begin this process. And we had a time frame. We have an agreement that's actually expiring sometime in September this year. And we have done absolutely nothing to implement that agreement. She at the same time refuted claims by Amnesty International that Kenya is abdicating its duty to protect the refugees. Uh, we have never shied away from taking responsibility right, uh, for our brothers and sisters that flee from conflict, uh, from persecution, and that come into our countries. And Kenya has had a very long history of welcoming, hosting uh, refugees, and even integrating uh, refugees. On Friday, Interior Principal Secretary Karanja Kibicho announced the decision to close the two refugee camps, citing security challenges such as the threat of Al-Shabaab. Already, the government has disbanded the Department of Refugee Affairs in a move that will pave way for closure of Kakuma and Adab refugee camps. For Channel One News Weekend, I'm Brenda Zeda Rodido.